Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a first impressions review and demo of the Wee Dad Vita Curl Styling Gel. So I got this around Black Friday of last year, 2018, and I tried it for a little while with my transitioning care. My transitioning care absolutely hated it, could not get it to work for me. I ended up just kind of caving in and putting it on the back of my shelf for a while. So I went ahead and this morning pulled out this and tried it out for the first time in about two months, I would say, two-ish months. So first things first, this is the finished product. I went through my same old wash routine. If you are interested in my wash routine, I will link that up here somewhere. Did my usual thing, diffused. Um, only thing I did a little bit different this time was I squished to condition. So going into how I wash, I washed my normal routine. I got out of the shower with my soaking wet hair, applied the product immediately after I got out of the shower, applied it, raked it in, scrunched it in, did all that good stuff. I used an old cotton t-shirt to scrunch out any excess moisture from the water and the product. Then I let the gel set for 15 minutes before diffusing. Then I diffused for about 35 minutes, took a little bit of a break, let it air dry a little bit, and then came back and diffused the rest of it for about 15 minutes. So we are going to go through the pros and cons of this. A big fat pro to this is that it does give very lovely, great, and awesome hold. Granted, this is day one hair. I will go ahead and insert day two clips around here somewhere for tomorrow. But for day one hair, this is very lovely and it has a great hold. It has provided a lot of shine, so it is very moisturizing in that fact. And I think it's very, I think it's, I think it's wonderful. I think it's a very good gel product. And through and through, this is Curly Girl approved. Now stepping over into the cons. A big con to me is the price point of this. If you are looking for a dupe of this, I find the Diva Curl Arc Angel Gel performs very similarly to it. The main difference between the two, I would say, is there's no crunch with the style, styler at all, typically. Whereas you will get a little bit of crunch with this, but that is the main difference between the two. Um, I find this is also very hydrating. And the reason why I do bring up the Archangel Gel is because of the price point. So the Diva Curl Archangel Gel retails for $24 online and then has 12 fluid ounces in it. Whereas the Wee Dad Styling Gel has 8 fluid ounces in it and it retails for $26 online. So when you are comparing them on both a price point and size point, the Diva Curl obviously wins, so if you're looking for a bit of a cheaper dupe, this works fairly well. But a difference between the two products, I would say, um, that I forgot to touch on, was that I do have a little bit of a stronger hold, and I do have a bit of a stronger definition with this product. I will contribute that to the fact that this is a crunch styler. And with trying out different gels, I notice I have a lot more definition and hold when it is a crunch styler. And I think that's just because the original cast that is formed around your curls does really hold them in, which is maybe why I don't get as much of a hold or definition with the Archangel Gel. If you're looking for an even cheaper dupe, I would totally recommend the Cantu Shine Define Custard. This retails for, this does give you a massive amount of hold and definition. It does not make my hair that shiny, but it is also about five to eight dollars. So for that price point, I think you might be able to sacrifice a little bit of the other stuff. So would I recommend the Weed Dad Vital Curl Styling Gel? Yes, but I would recommend it if you have the means to spend $26 on eight fluid ounces of a product when you could also just go get the Archangel Gel or the Can't Too Shine Define Custard for a cheaper price. Uh, but I do think this is a very good product. Just, I just don't like the price point. That's my big gripe with it. And I know Weed Dad is kind of a bigger, more luxe brand, so I'm not surprised by the price point. And it is a very well-performing product. I will not um, dock it for that at all. It's a wonderful product, performs very well, but always keep in mind that there are cheaper dupes. But always keep in mind that the way my hair reacted to it is not always going to be the same way your hair reacts to it. Hair care is very personal, and I'm just gonna put that out there so that you can keep that in mind. Okay, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I'm, okay, you can go, I'm sorry, I know, I'm a terrible mom. I love you so much, you little fat glorified little raccoon.